In today's video, we're gonna review the Black Diamond Distance Two-Person Tent. Remember to like and subscribe. can see on the side of the tent on the door side as a zipper vent you can see the pole assembly and the guy line come around to the head of the tent and we can see the overhead vent this is nice for some ventilation as well as a window but it does not close so wind will come through and you'll have a breeze I haven't had any issues with precip getting in there uh, since it's usually on the leeward side but it's something to keep in mind on the other side, it's just a single wall with the trekking pole, the adapter, a guy line, and the one small cross pole that connects to each side. As we come around to the toe of the tent, we can see that there's a, a guy line loop above the awning. That awning is over the mesh vent. On the ends of the awnings, there's nice little toggles that help uh, keep that end of the tent nicely tensioned. I found it's pretty easy to open one-handed as you can see That zipper doesn't come all the way to the floor on one side So it kind of helps to keep a little bit of snow and dirt from coming in. I'm partly packed up here Kind of the end of a trip But you can see a mesh pocket on the side helps with organization Overhead we can see the mesh vent which is pretty good height in the ceiling uh, for me, I'm about five foot eleven. As we come down, the sloping ceiling there comes down to the mesh vent in the floor, which you can see I had some spin drift blow in here uh, one night, uh, which I just put my Gore-Tex jacket over the toe of my sleeping bag to help protect it. That's probably my one main complaint is at the toe end of the tent. It's a little low. Uh, so for me and my height, my sleeping pad height, my sleeping bag, the ceiling or the wall just barely touches my feet. While I'm away from the tent for the day, I'll take my poles with me for, for ski touring and I'll stuff my remaining gear inside of the trash bags. Uh, to help protect them from moisture and condensation while I'm gone for the day. Overall, I really like this tent. It's a lightweight single wall, one to two person tent uh, that suffers the same condensation issues as all the other single walls. If you're in a humid environment, it's just, you're gonna get condensation. While the vents don't close, and I have had an instance of spin drift, the distance tent performs well in breezy conditions with minimal flapping or swaying and no issues in the rain. So far, I'd say it's performed well. It's lightweight, it's low bulk, it's a floored shelter, it's comfortable, it's spacious, and I think it's been a really nice addition to my tent quiver. If you have any other questions or comments, put them in below and we'll try to respond as soon as we can. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe. Thanks everybody.